Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. Uh, but before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know I have been getting uh, decks of cards gifted to the channel. So I'm giving shout outs to everyone that makes a gift to the channel. So I have two for this week. So I want to say thank you to Junior for gifting the Divine Doors Oracle Deck. And I also want to say thank you to Karen I for gifting the Unicorn Oracle cards. They're a beautiful deck of cards and they even come with their own holding case. Look how badass. Thank you so much, Karen. And thank you so much, Junior. This has its nice little box that I can store it in as well. So very, very nice. I'm going to be using them in my readings. If you would like to gift the channel, uh, down below in the description box is the Amazon link. And I will give you a shout out upon um, receiving the deck and uh, premiering it on the channel. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Let's get into your reading. Please give me clear and concise messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, what messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their love life? What love messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising at this time, please? What does Capricorn need to know regarding their love life? Okay, I'm feeling someone is a handful, but a good handful I'm getting. Okay, so we have the Justice card here. So someone might be dealing with a Libra. This could also just be keeping things in balance and doing the right thing. Um, Eight of Wands, beautiful energy here. Okay, so the Eight of Wands is um, arrows of love, someone being swept off their feet, a huge level of excitement. This could be sex and passion, swift action, could even be an infatuation from someone. Uh, communication, very, very fast communication, text, email, or a phone call. It could even be travel by air. Now that the country is starting to open up a little bit more, travel is allowed. Okay, and then we have the death card here. Okay. Now, it doesn't have to be an ending. It can be a transformation. Okay, so let's see where this is going. Let's see where this is going with some other cards. Okay. Okay, so what messages do we have for Capricorn? Can you please clarify the Justice card, the Eight of Wands, and the Death card in this reading for Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn at this time? Please clarify the Justice card, the Eight of Wands, and the Death card for Capricorn. Okay, let's see. So we have here, girl with a snake, empath and nar narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enable boundaries. Okay, so one of the messages that I got immediately was somebody is going to be very, very quick to end a relationship here. It could be um, someone's getting divorce papers real quick in the mail. It could even be a messenger showing up um, to give you these divorce papers or you to someone else. The energy can always be switched here. Like someone's looking to end things real fast and it's going to happen like almost in the blink of an eye for some of you. Okay. Okay. Then I have here love call. So someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So with keeping the balance of things, for some of you, it could be 
now that the country is opening up, if you had a long distance relationship or someone was away, it could be that they're going to call you and let you know, hey, uh, as far as balancing things out, uh, I'm going to come and see you. You know, I, I bought a plane ticket. I'm going to be on the next plane. I'm coming to see you, you know, and this is not an ending. It's a transformation of the relationship, taking things to the next level. Okay. It could also be somebody planning a trip and telling you, hey, you know, um, let's go somewhere. Let's go do something. I love you. I want to spoil you and take care of you. Okay. Butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase. See transformation. This is clarifying the death card, healing the inner child and growth. So definitely someone loves you, wants to take things to the next level and they're looking to do it real fast here. And then we have Cupid's arrow, have faith. Love is coming surprise invitation or meeting. Someone also might be surprising you. And just unexpectedly, you know, coming to sweep you off your feet. Okay. So we have more positive energy here than negative. So very small few of you may be going through like this breakup or divorce phase here where someone's just like, yeah, bye. It could even be someone's just leaving. Okay. If you're not married that you get a divorce, somebody's just like taken off as soon as they can. Okay. All right. So let's see. What other messages do we have? For Capricorn regarding their love life at this time. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Communication is coming in here. Okay. Like we have all these cards here. We've got communication coming in quick. Eight of Wands. That communication, that travel, love. Um... Love is coming. Love communication is coming. Someone's telling you they love you. Taking things to the next level. Okay. The creativity. So this is the also with the Eight of Wands being clarified here. Sex, passion, creativity. Okay. And then we have here, let's see. We have the shadow. So for those of you that, like, someone's filing for divorce, it, it could be, you're not even aware of it. You know, like you knew things were bad, but you didn't know that somebody was going to be sending you divorce papers. Like I'm feeling for some of you, it kind of threw you off. You know, you weren't, you, you didn't think, you know, you thought there was going to be healing and forgiveness. And instead you were left in the dark and it's like, no, we're getting a divorce. So it's like, oh shit. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Thanks. You know, and that's where you kind of feel like, um, you know, being charmed here. So they may have been like civil and they knew what they were doing. So you're expecting healing and forgiveness. And they're just like, no acting behind your back to get these, uh, papers in the works. Okay. So let's see what other messages do we have for Capricorn regarding their love life. Okay, so we have here commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly knowing that love is the essence of your very being. So, of course, for this group here, we have commitment happening. Definitely ready to commit. Transformation, taking things to the ne next level. Then we have evolution here. You realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. So for some of you, like I said before, if this was a long distance relationship, it's like, okay, it's just an obstacle, but it's not going to be an obstacle forever. Last shuffle. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Okay. Past through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. So you are ready to let go of the past. You don't want to live in the past any longer. So if you had a fear of commitment here, you're ready to release that. And this could also be uh, for this person that may want to get a divorce, whether it's you or them. It could be something from the past that's still been haunting you guys. And they're like, you know what? I don't want to live in the past anymore. I tried to get forgiveness and healing, but you keep bringing it up. So now it's like, that's it. Let's just, you know, move on. So for whoever it resonates with. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go to the chakra deck. 
What does Capricorn need to focus on at this time regarding themselves and their love life? Self-expression. Okay, this is the throat chakra. Vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness. So you need to speak up more. You need to express yourself. Some of you might be um, too quiet here. And this could be with the reason for the divorce. If somebody, or the breakup, if somebody hasn't been speaking their piece and expressing themselves, they don't know how you feel if you don't tell them. Okay? So if you feel someone's been using you or just being charming to get what they want, you, you need to express this. You have to be more vocal, okay? You have to defend yourself. Okay. So let's see. From the unicorn deck, let's see. What messages do we have for you, Capricorn? Okay, what messages do we have for Capricorn? From the unicorn deck, please. cards here queen of the unicorns you are blessed with love compassion and wisdom so that's for those of you that have this beautiful love coming in queen of the unicorns you are blessed with love compassion and wisdom and then we have freedom let the unicorns set you free so maybe you are the one that is requesting to get this divorce maybe you want to be you know, not living in the past anymore. And now you're finally expressing yourself and vocalizing what you want. You want your freedom. Also, for those of you in love, feel free to love. Don't let anything hold you back, okay? It's time for this evolution, this commitment. It's okay. You're free to love. This person loves you back. And then we have here prompting. Call a friend today. So what's that, that uh, game show that they had that it was like, yeah, can I call a friend? Call a friend if you need to clarify something here. Call a friend if you just need to speak up, if you just need to vent. Call your friend. Call somebody. Don't keep it to yourself. You have to release this, okay? In order to get your freedom, you have to release it, okay? Okay, beautiful messages there. I love this deck. Okay, and then we're going to pick a door for you. Let's see, I'll put this here. I'm going to pick a door for you. What door do we have to close out Capricorn's reading, please? What door do we have for Capricorn to close out their reading? What message do we have for Capricorn? Okay, Capricorn, here is your door. Okay, and your message is morning memory. Its healing gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn, our inspired source. Meditate under the sun. So this time for some meditation. Go get some sun. Bask in the sun. Its healing gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn, our inspired source. Okay, so this is some sun energy coming in here. So this is happiness. Um, union and basically the best of everything okay this is happiness success prosperity and good health so many blessings to you Capricorn peace and love and um, also on TikTok if you want to follow me there I do daily energy readings and I will see you in the next one